Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine YouTube channel. I am Paco Garcia and today is going to be a little bit different. You know, the other day I was looking at Modifius's Conan uh, book because um, I know I've already done a review about it. I was talking with someone on Twitter. I think it was, or Facebook, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I was talking with somebody about this book and how intimidating it actually is because it's, it's, it's huge and it has an insane amount of information about it. And I thought I need to make another piece about this game and how it really isn't as intimidating as the size of the book may make you appear. Uh, and I was thinking, you know, I wonder, what would they eat if they were traveling from one side of Hyboria to another? What, what recipes, you know, what kind of thing would they be able to sit down and cook pretty much right away? And I, and I immediately thought, chicken. Because I thought, um, well, chicken is very transportable and it can, you, you have an awful lot of things to do with it. So I'm going to give you an absolutely beautiful recipe. So simple, so simple to cook with just a handful of ingredients that you're going to impress your Hyborians with. Welcome to Dyson Slice. Oh, let's cook. Right, this recipe is just going to have a number of very, very, very small number of, of ingredients, which I'm going to tell you about pretty much right away. But I was thinking the other day, the reason why I was thinking chicken is because I thought if I had a caravan and I had to go from one side of Hyboria or whatever, you know, the land is very big, um, I thought chicken would be very good because it would allow me to keep track of who's eating what, because one chicken feeds four people for one meal, thereabouts. So I thought it's a very good way to, to, you know, to make sure that this trip is going to take 20 days plus another three or four just in case. And so we need X number of chickens out there very easy to feed. So we're going to use one kilo of chicken. And yes, you would think that according to what I just said, I should have quarters, but no, I have drums. And the reason I have one kilo of drums, um, because they were an offer. So, drumsticks. Also, to be honest, they cook very evenly, so that's actually a very good reason to have them. We're going to have 250 grams of mushrooms, one large red and green pepper, one medium to large onion, depending how much you like your onions, three or four tablespoons of oil, three cloves of garlic, some ground pepper, ground nutmeg, some salt, but be careful, don't use too much because we're also going to use one of these um, stock cubes, about half a glass of water, same amount of white wine, 200 grams of passata or fried tomato, and a remote control that shouldn't be there. So I'm going to put it in my pocket. So having said that, I'm just going to proceed to prepare all this so you know exactly well, how it's going to go in the pot. Let's start with the garlic, shall we? Um, the garlic we're just going to mince and slice a little bit. It doesn't... I, I have a um, massive love affair with garlic. I could eat any in any recipe. This recipe says three, but by all means, if you like garlic, feel free to put a lot more. If you don't like garlic, I don't understand you, but I still love you and respect you and that's fine. That's okay. And I know some people are allergic to garlic, so if you're allergic to garlic, um, then well, don't put any garlic in it because it's bad for you, but you already know that. So, anyway, we are just going to mince it. I'm just not going to say anything wrong because I've already said it. You can proceed to this little bit at the end. The garlic we just slice just like that. It doesn't it doesn't need any further preparation to that. And onion. Same thing really. Um, this is not a particularly refined dish 
so you don't have to you know cut it in julienne or do funky things like that it's, it's just a matter of you know, chopping it off however you like so we're going to like that and Same thing goes with uh, pepper. Uh, I'm just going to empty this in the bin, if you don't mind me. And um, I'm glad we're recording this, people, because um, I'm about to start crying. The onion is going to start affecting me. And I don't know if it's me that I'm very sensitive, or what is it, but it really affects <laughs> me at home. Ugh. You laugh, but to me this is rather painful. Oh, <laughs> I can really touch myself a lot. I mean, my eyes, although not myself, don't. Oh, don't be horrible to me, I'm suffering here. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing at me. Um, neither should you. Uh, anyway. I'm just going to get rid of this. Oh. Peppers here. You know what they say, that this is only meant to last seven minutes? In my case, it lasts uh, a lot longer. Uh. Listen, viewers, let me show you something. Uh. This is real. I am genuinely crying. Uh. And I hope this is not going to go out of the editing because I would be really sad if people couldn't see how much I suffer for you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's subsiding now. I hope, I think. Oh. Well, you wanted the extended version, Parker, so this is what you get. You get to see me cry. Ugh. Okay, it's a bit less now. Thank goodness for that. Oh, no, it's like this. Oh. Uh, just so you know, M Martin, who's doing all the editing, is, is suffering with me. Uh, he's not crying, but he doesn't like to see me cry, I think. Because um, he's my... He's my husband. Uh, but I don't think he cares that much, because he enjoys the... The end with it. Uh, wow. Oh, that's a strong one, you. We're a bitch. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Now, oh, Jesus. the original recipe says that the um, mushrooms should be laminated. However, I find that if, if you just if you laminate them, they become too mushy, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is to quart them. You know, you don't slice them. Lamination in Spanish means 
Sorry, I just realized that I was translating directly from the recipe. Uh, laminated, I mean to, to make it in slices. Laminar, lamina is a slice. Uh, so, that is laminated. Um, so what we're going to do is to quarter them. Because if you slice them too thinly, um, and you leave it for any length of time, they become too mushy in the mouth, um, and they lose an awful lot of consistency, which I don't like. So, we're just going to quarter this, this, these mushrooms. And that's one. And with these, my friends, we have absolutely everything we need to cook our delicious Conan's chicken. Let's go for it. Now that we have all the ingredients ready, it is the time to start cooking. I have warmed up. This is going to be a medium, kind of medium high heat. And we're going to put all the olive oil. Don't, don't be afraid to put the olive oil in it because the onion is going to take a huge amount of it, which is good. The garlic, which we're going to saute for about a couple of minutes, three minutes, until it's nice and golden and beautiful. And now that the garlic is getting this, oh my God, beautiful golden color and absolutely fantastic, fantastic smell. We're going to add the onion, the green pepper, We're going to do this for about 10 minutes, uh, give or take, until everything is nice and softened. Now that we have simmered, these peppers and the onions for a few minutes to make it soft. You can make it correct. You can make it as soft or leave it as hard as you like. I like things with crunch, so I don't cook it fully uh, because it's gonna keep cooking. So um, why, why bother? Now what we're going to do, my dear, is, is to add all the chicken. The lot goes in. And we're going to add the pepper, brown nutmeg, salt, water, and the wine. And we're going to crumble this thing, which is going to make my fingers be very messy. So I'm going to clean myself with a wet cloth. Let's give this good old stir. Let's make sure that everything is coated. Carefully, don't splash things about. And we're going to add the tomato. You can use any kind of fried tomato, passata or, or anything. Um, it's, it's just 200 grams of it, so it doesn't need a huge amount. And I'm going to squeeze as much as I possibly can. There you go. Right now, we this is going to be in a medium height, uh, medium high heat. Uh, we have to be fairly careful. One of the reasons why, in all seriousness, I like to use uh, drumsticks is because 
they're all going to cook fairly evenly and I know that with half an hour at this temperature they're going to be absolutely fine. They're not going to need any more and they will cook thoroughly. Chicken has to be cooked thoroughly. I know there is a fad and a trend out there to have medium rare chicken. Please don't. Ever. Trust me on that one. Never have raw chicken. Ever. So we're going to leave it here gently, nicely simmering for about half an hour. I'm going to cover it. And meanwhile, while this is bubbling away, well, let me tell you all there is to tell about the Conan game. Right, while the pot is simmering away, let me tell you a little bit about the Conan game. Uh, firstly, I have to disclose one thing, and is that I am not a fan of mega thick tomes. And I have to say that yes, it is true that it took me a very, very long time to read this book because there is a huge, huge amount of information within it. I stick to my original review of the game that this is not a game for beginners because it's it's just too much and if you are going to play with your friends I would thoroughly recommend that you download the quick start guide for this corner uh, game because there is so much to pack. However, I am also going to address some of the issues that people have told me and is that it feels very intimidating that the information is just so much that they don't want to deal with it. Well, let's talk about that for a bit because one thing that this book has, which I think is incredibly well done, is everything is very well compartmentalized. So if we look at the index in here, um, character creation is a fairly complex affair. There is an awful lot to choose from. There is, there is the main abilities, then there is the secondary abilities, the where you come from matters an awful lot, what your profession is matters an awful lot, what your relationships are. It, it, there is a lot to take into account. So the one thing that I would say if you want to play this game is organize one session just for character generation. There are 37 pages of character generation. The good thing though is that everything is step by step. So if you follow the steps, it may take you a couple of hours, maybe two and a half hours to generate your character but you cannot get lost, seriously. Uh, it's, it's nigh to impossible to get lost because everything has been so, so well laid out. So from getting a, you know, random character, if you have no idea what you're doing and you don't know the world very well yet, or you just don't want to bother learning everything, just roll your character and get something random. At the end of the day, if it's going to be your, your first game, it doesn't really matter too much what you, what you play. Just roll with it and have fun. So that's already going to help you an awful lot. The short descriptions will give you enough that you can, in 10 minutes, 5 minutes, rip this and get a very good clue as to what you are going to play as which is excellent. And then every other step is exactly the same. It's very, very well laid out. So if you feel that this book is intimidating from the character creation point of view, yes, it's complex. I'm not going to lie about it. This is not one of those, uh, you know, games in which you have uh, three attributes and that's it, you're playing. No, this, you have to craft a very well-rounded and because you have so many options, you're going to have a really complex and rich character, rich in lore, rich in the abilities that you can use, rich in absolutely everything. So getting together to organize that is always a good idea for, for, for the Conan game. Also, because of the variation of the characters, where they come from, whether they get along the different nations or not, is a good way of actually grounding how is the party going to work together. 
um, because otherwise you could have internal problems that could take away the fun from everyone else. Also, some other concern is that the rules are very complicated. Well, they're flexible, but I wouldn't say they're really complicated. I mean, the, the, the rules, you get like 10 pages of rules, less than that. If we go to page 93, which is where, where they start, this is it. You don't get an awful lot of rules in in this game. I know that this may sound feel like a lot, but there really isn't, and you can do pretty much anything you want with these rules. You can use the momentum the way you want and use them to build tension with the players because you can use momentum against them and uh, the use of that momentum will force the players to work together because it's a, it's not just a finite resource but it's a resource that when you use you're actually given the GM a reason to use them back against you so it's not something to trifle with it's not something that can just go there about freely no this is a team building mechanism just as much as it is a resource for the players and I like that a lot I'm not kidding if you make a summary if you summarize these rules in a bit of paper to fit your own description the likelihood is that these 10 pages are going to be maybe two and that's it. So don't, don't, don't be put off by, by the rules. The rules are very, very flexible, but they're not complicated. It's just as soon as you get your head around it a little bit and, and how momentum works, that's it. You are, you're done. <laughs> there is no, you know, losing anything too much about them. Um, the other interesting thing about this book that I would recommend when you read it is take it one chapter at a time and think about it as different books in one. This is so well compartmentalized that you can think about this game and go exactly to the, to the part of the book that you need. So if you're thinking about how to run it, the game mastering section is brilliant and there is a lot more advice on how to use this fortune, momentum, how to run the combat, how to make it cinematic. There's a lot more advice than there are rules and that tells you something and, and it's how insanely customizable this game can be. Do you want to run it just out of the mill? Go for it and you will have a great experience because the rules are really solid. Do you want to really make it very cinematic and apply some more advanced gaming techniques? Go for it and this is going to tell you exactly how to do it. So to, to, to cut a long story short, because I know I could keep going about this game for ages because I still believe that this is possibly uh, the best fantasy uh, game out there right now, the best designed fantasy game right there, uh, out there right now. Mind you, I still need to read Dragon Age and I still need to read the Warhammer, uh, the Cubicle 7 Warhammer book. Um, don't feel intimidated by it. I know it's a big book, but there is so, so much to do and it is so simple to separate things from one another. It's so easy to just go and find exactly what you're looking for to sort out any particular doubt you may have. That once you get into it, once you look at this book that way, it loses all the intimidation that you could feel to start with. So give it a go. Don't, don't feel 
this is too much. And this is being said by somebody who really shies away from big tongues. So trust me, I you will be surprised as to how many things you can do with this and how simple it is once you get into it, how simple it is to run and to play uh, Conan. And you can proceed to have adventures in an age and dreamed of and have your own dreams about it. But for now, uh, let's, let's take a look at the port and make sure that um, we don't have an accident in the kitchen. So we've been cooking this for about half an hour now and um, it's bubbling away quite nicely, which is exactly what we wanted. Quite strong, which is good, and they, but that's okay because there's a, a fair amount of, of liquid in here. And what we're going to do now is the last step. We're going to add the mushrooms. And uh, this is the last little bit. It's going to take 10 more minutes of cooking but this time, what we're going to do is to leave it with the lid open. We're, we're barely going to touch it. Colin's chicken has been simmering around for another 10 minutes with everything. Now, uh, before I serve this, I want to tell you, you can do an awful lot of things with this dish. You can add a little bit of chili to add some spiciness, although this is already quite tasty as it is. So be careful if you do that. You can add some bacon for another extra bit of saltiness, although then you'll have to make sure that you haven't put too much salt in it in advance. And if you want to go really crazy, add some chorizo to it and it will be heavenly. But I'm really doing it. I mean, I have already tried this off camera and I've given something to Mart to eat and um, we're both super excited about this bowl of deliciousness that we're about to eat for lunch, even though it is four o'clock in the afternoon already. So anyway, serve a nice bed of the vegetables with one, two, perhaps three if you're very hungry like I am now, of the drumsticks. Um, by the way, you can serve this with pasta, you can serve this with rice, you can serve this with pretty much anything you fancy. And um, you can put a little bit of green, the parsley, something like that, just, just a little bit of a chaffy kind of feel to the whole thing. But trust me, this is... Let me just put it this way. Conan approves. And probably so will you. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Please send me photographs of your stuff that you've cooked, of this recipe or any other. Send me ideas. Do you want me to cook something in particular? What recipes do games inspire you to cook? Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can get notifications when we upload more Dyson Slice and many other shows that we are recording right now and leave me your comments down there. I really and honestly look forward to hearing what you have to say. But until the next time, thank you once again for being there and take care.